All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We are going to be playing um, some of the Skull and Bones open beta, as you can see on your screens right now. Um, I only heard about this game about, I'd say, a month ago. Um, I'm not one of the people who has been super hyped about the game for years on end. I heard it's been delayed multiple times. I don't know anything about that. Um, I actually heard about it from one of my local GameStop employees who has been following it for a long time and wanted to play it. So uh, I'm excited for him as well because at my local GameStop, I'm good friends with my people at my local GameStop. Um, uh, I hope he's enjoying it too. I hope he's able to play it. Um, worst case in there, he can watch my videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I figured I'd go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and film my first reaction to the beta. Um, some screens just displayed your your typical seizure screen. It was stating crossplay and stuff like that. It did remind us that this is a beta. This is not the finished game, so you will more than likely encounter issues. Hopefully, they'll be fixing the finished product here in. Uh, I want to say when does it come out? The nineteenth or something like that. It comes out a little bit before. It, I think it comes out like a, a little over a week before we reverse something like that. It comes out mid January. Not January. February is what I meant to say. Um. Without any further ado, let's um, let's get into it. Uh, I don't know if this is an online only game. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm sure anyone down in the comments wants to let me know information about the game that I don't know. Uh, go for it. I'm not opposed to it. Uh, like for instance, I don't know if this is a own or more specifically. I'm referring to, I, right now. I think it is only online. I don't really know. Um, I kind of want to know, do, they, do you guys know if the full release is going to be only online? Is it... I mean, I imagine not, since we're paying 70 bucks for the game. Surely you can play it by yourself offline, if you so choose. Uh, I, I mean, we'll find out here in a minute once it freaking connects. Um, keeping in mind, uh, this, this is going to be a disclaimer for my end. I do have extremely good internet. So if for whatever reason, this game has, like, lag issues and whatnot... Trust me, and, and the sky is clear, mind you. Trust me, it is not on my end. Oh, God, no. Turn that off. No, turn it off. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do full. What do you mean? Nah, I'm not worried about that. Any language English, spoken language English, spoken language English, crossplay, sure. Camera shake. Uh, we'll, we'll play with it on for now. All right. Um, I would rather the quality. We'll leave that at, we'll leave all that at the, the normal shit. Let's see what we say. Play nice, play fair, play safe. Okay. I I can agree to this. That's that's not a bad thing. All right. Yes, Butcher. Yes, how are you? All right. Let's let's get into it. I want to see what this is all about. The dawn of capitalism, when corporations as mighty as nations rule the seas and dominate the world's valuable trade routes. With an iron fist, they forge a path of tyranny and exploitation, igniting a battle for global supremacy. From the Indian Ocean, a flood of exotic goods feed new addictions and fill coffers with coins tainted in blood. And where there is blood, there are predators. Fuck! We've lost the Exeter! Stop 
Okay, we're actually playing. Interesting. What's that? Mean? Look, a British ship. She shot through. Easy prey. Always room for more riches in our hold. She's vulnerable to a broadside. Oh. Oh, that, yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. You hold them. Dude, this is literally Assassin's Creed, except a little bit more streamlined. I'm talking about, like, Black Flag and Rogue. Oh, we'll be fine. Do I have front cannons? I do. The ship's getting dabbed on by me. Holy crap, nut. That's a lot of fucking shit, bro. That is a border. I don't have a health bar, at least that I see, really. I'm not looking too hot, to be honest with you.
Was I supposed to be running away? That wasn't exactly clear. I figured I was supposed to fight them. Was I supposed to run away? I don't think so. I think that was supposed to happen. Uh, <laughs> I'm over here like... I feel like that's supposed to happen, but... Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know if that icon in the top corner that's going red and then yellow. It's kind of worrying me. I also would like to know what the, the, the numbers in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen mean. That'd be kind of nice to know. Uh, it's probably like a count number or some shit like that. I don't, I don't really know, though. Is this when you customize your character? Yup. So it's not straight customization like I was hoping. It kind of sucks, but this one's closest to what I look like. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we're closer to this. Um, what do you mean, buddy? Oh. Papa likes tattoos, and well, I'm not a big fan of bruises and shit, but I do like tattoos. Where is this at? I don't know. Yeah, how about we just do none? Like this one the most. There we go. All right, we will, uh, uh, this button. Yep. <laughs> we survived the battle, and now you arrive to help through the Dao. I would say our fortune's on the rise, no? There's a certain yearning in your eyes. I've seen the same glint in others before. I'm sure you will steer us true to Saint Anne. To reach Parrot Paradise, we must first know the way. Yeah. <laughs> a logbook we retrieved from the wreck. More than ink and parchment, our fates are revealed in layers and often from plain sight. Perhaps this will help you chart your path forward, friend. Make yourself useful. Take the tiller before the damn British return. I'll work the sail. The wind favors the fearless. Let us chase it. Among the scattered survivors, one must surely know the way to St. Anne. Freeman's luck, guide us. Okay. Interesting. Uh... I repair the towel and sail the same land. She can go even faster. Trim the sails. Upper hold X is ready for the train. Press it on. Land ahead. Destiny's thrown us a line. We can find help to get out of this place.
Okay. The pirate chief officer. Seems this way. The ship was as overburdened as a pregnant sow. We may have lost the British in the fog, but also the race against these cursed elements. See now, the Exeter's guts spilled across these shallows, and I'm surrounded by drunken sluggards who believe they are doomed to this hellish rock. And where were you, Captain, while the Exeter was hounded by British frigates? No doubt cowering in your quarters, like the filthy built rat you are. What good are your foolhardy ways if they have left us stranded upon these shallows? You wish to reach St. Anne? Of course you do. And so do the rest of this drunken lot, sprawled upon the asses. <laughs> but if we return to the kingpin empty-handed, he will surely strip us of our titles if he does not first strip us of our skin. Retrieve what remains of Scalock's cargo from the shark-infested waters. Only then Will I divulge the way to pirate paradise? Okay. Sure. Good. Now make haste. Okay. Uh to the north of the Exeter Rack. Rum acquire let's put some firearms. Interesting. North of the exit. Right? Wouldn't trust the officer to guide a fish in open seas. But if the bugger knows the way to St. Anne, we need to get Skurlock's cargo. We can hunt these fish for food. You must track fast! Those corpses. We might have to search them. That's a shark. Kill it. Good work. I think we have enough. Fortune smiles upon us. Let's head back. I mean, at least this so far it's easy to easy to navigate in this part. I'm pretty sure the ship doesn't just repair itself. So how do I repair my ship now? <laughs> you wish the way to Saint Anne? Get me Scanlock's cargo. Thanks for the goods. Scanlock may well spare my head, but I cannot say the same for you. After I tell him about the captain who failed to protect his cargo. <laughs> Find your own way to St. Anne, chum sniffer. 
<laughs> I don't owe you a sliver up your ass, especially when mine's on the line. Why don't you ask Captain Rassler? His bloated corpse might know the way. Now fuck off, built rat. Okay. What are we saying that? That could work for sure. Honestly, my, my first impressions and, and, and honestness, right? I think it's cool. What do you mean, bring up action mode? Press it. A little weasel to the very end. If the bastard says wrestler might have the uh, map to see an end, we should search his wreck. Oh, that's how we. Okay. <clears throat> Why not? Ship breaks appearance. Step by aiming for a colored segment and pressing R2. And returns off from the results so yellow gives less. Oh, we can process. Oh. Governor Legrand, having received from France His Majesty's proclamation of suppressing pirates due to an alarming increase in predators among per palm merchant ships, has delivered numerous letters of mark to employ privateers to aid in the Compagni Royalist campaign to rid the Indian Ocean of piratical infestation. Under commission of His Majesty, privateers have seized upon numerous pirate vessels along the coast of Africa. While they known as the Pirate Realm, this trade route from the American colonies to the Red Isle has seen an alarming increase in pirate activity since the infamous sacking of Dutch merchant the Schwaldov. My suspicion remains that the Red Isle is host to a secret pirate den serving as a staging point for predators, predations. Reports continue to suggest large shipments of contraband are destined for the region. The Compagni hopes to gain further intelligence on the whereabouts of the pirate den. Interesting. Interesting. So there's actually going to be little bits of lore scattered throughout. That's, that's kind of cool. Why is there a cannon symbol? What does it mean, abandoned cannon? Why would I want to shoot the cannon? Okay. Okay, I don't, I don't understand what the purpose of that is, but okay. I'm honest to God, not sure what that was about. Um, what does this say? So, uh, okay. Oh, what's this? Journal of Exeter frigate. I'm not reading all that. I don't care that much. There it is.
spyglass acquired, okay. Marked on your compass, I see. It's it's over saying that. In my piece of shit little dingy you look in the ship. Wow, sure I guess. The kingpin will surely want to know what happened to his cargo. Or John's car. We'll have three shots from a flintlock wizard for our heads. Or just yours, friend. <laughs> What's a pirate's life without a little peril and mischief, eh? With the cargo from the Exeter lost, Skurlock will need a daring rogue like yourself to procure new goods for his pirate empire. And so far, your fortune has steered us true. I'm glad we pulled your corpse from the sea, friend. Rassler is dead, and with him, all prior obligations or duties. You are free to make your own luck now, Captain. Captain, is it? As long as you don't tear us into the blasted rocks. We're finally getting out of these cursed atolls. Fortune smiles upon you, Captain. Something tells me we're going to be just fine. Hmm. I think I might even stick around for a while. Imagine what else we could accomplish together, Captain. We could build a strong fleet and crush our enemies, conquer any threat. We could defy the gods themselves. Onwards to Saint Anne, Captain. Magway! Set sail for par paradise! <laughs> Oh, for the love of Jesus, I hate it when I do that. <laughs> you guys didn't hear a word of what I was just saying. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, if my opinion changes after playing the second part of this once it's fully installed, I can't continue because the damn game's not installed. I have about another 10 minutes remaining. I don't want to go do other stuff right now. So I'm going to finish. I'm going to end the video here. Um... I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, play up till brigands here in this open bit. Interesting. Interesting. So that'll be interesting. Um, as I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more of my content. Um, I will probably release one other you know, episode of this, one other part. 
Um, I'm not going to say this is going to be the last part because as of right now, my opinion is, eh, I might buy it sometime later down the road. I'm definitely not going to pre-order it. I wouldn't have time to. I'm pretty sure pre-orders are closed anyway. Um, at least at GameStop. So, I believe that's all there is to say. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.